Welcome to the Seal Sounds YouTube channel. I am Emily. Today we are going to talk about workflow. I discovered something uh, a long time ago now called Mike's Music Machine. I'm going to put a link up here and in the description of this video so that you can go snag the Trello board template for that. And Mike has a whole bunch of tutorials on how he intends for it to be used. What I'm going to do today is give you the synopsis of how this works and walk you through my process of how I use it. I am currently working on a winter lo-fi EP. And so that is what we're going to do in the context of the music machine so that I can show you how it works. The first thing and what I try to do every day is what Mike calls a splurge. It's literally just musical vomit. You're going to go into your DAW or sit down with an instrument and you're just going to do something. It doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't really even have to be what you eventually record. You just need to do something and capture it somehow, whether that's the voice memo on your phone, if it's in your DAW, whatever. Capture it somehow. And that is going to go into the splurge board on the Trello board, uh, which I guess I'll show you now. Okay, so this is the Trello music machine board. And as you can see, splurge is in this first column. So everything that I splurge goes eventually into this column. So you can see I have two right here called cello mood and jazz brushes. These were splurges that I did uh, a couple months ago. And something that Mike suggests you do because you need to let splurges sit. You wanna come back to them a few days, three days after putting them here so that you can listen to them with fresh ears. And so he suggests setting a timer, which as you can see, I set this timer for October 27th and I haven't been back here to listen to this because I got on a different project and that's where we are now. So let's splurge something. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay. So I exported an MP3 of this tiny little thing that I just, I just, uh, I had already made a, a list of the different things that I wanted to include in the CP. And I had just randomly written down a couple of keys that I wanted those songs in. And this one, Fireplaces, I wrote F minor. Who knows if it's going to stay that way, but that's what we're starting with. And so I grabbed a couple chords in F minor and found a loop that I liked, recorded it, threw some drums on it, and that's what we've got. So we're going to open the Trello board back up here. We're going to add a card in the splurge column. We're going to go find that MP3. It's in Ableton in my Holy Hooga folder in the Fireplaces project. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't know that I'll be able to drop that in right the second. Fire places. Enter. Open this guy up. We're going to drop it in now. So grab that MP3, put it in here. I <gasps> exceeds 10 megabyte limit that's never happened to me before are we being serious wow sir what a terrible time for me to figure that out we're just going to pretend like i dropped an mp3 in there <laughs> jeez louise um Fireplace inspired lo-fi beat for Holy Huga EP to drop Christmas Day 2023. Go listen to it. Um, okay, so we're just gonna keep that there so I know what this is and what it was intended for. In regular life, I would have the MP3 right here so that I could listen to it when I come back. I guess I'm gonna have to look into why that's happening. It might be because I'm using Trello for free and I may have exceeded the limit of what I'm allowed to have in here. That would be extremely ironic if the first time I'm trying to record that it decides that I don't have enough space. Okay, you are going to set a date for three days from now. So this is the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. We're gonna come back to this on Friday. Are you being serious? Eight a.m. Okay. So the reason that you're going to do that, and let's actually just demonstrate with what I've got here. It's so, okay. So that's saved fireplaces. Now I have two splurges in here already from past times. This is cello mood and jazz brushes. Now, for some reason, I don't think you're going to be able to hear either of these things. So please bear with me for one second while I just listen to 10 seconds of this. I'll overdub this audio. Oh, dang, that's actually a really great one. Okay, so because I like it, we're going to move it into our sketchbook. And I'm going to tag it with this bookmark label. Now, I don't have a plan for this yet, so it's going to stay in my sketchbook. But all of the tracks that have yellow means I like it and I want to use it for something. So right now, I'm working on this lo-fi winter album. So I'm not focusing on anything except for that. Now, the question I suppose becomes... Can this be something I can use for the CP? <laughs> I 
I actually like this better for fireplaces. Shoot, I like this better. Uh, all right. So I think what might happen is I'm going to use what I just recorded, the fireplaces, for something else. And this jazz brushes, I think, just became part of part of the EP. Okay, so what's going to happen, because I just made that decision, we're going to move jazz brushes over to Discover. So in Discover, when you move something from your sketchbook that you're ready to work on into Discover, you are not finessing anything yet. The discover category is like splurging on top of a splurge. You are asking this piece, what do you want to be? Talk to me. What can I do for you? This little piece of music. And it's literally just um, becoming one with the piece of music and doing what it wants you to do. So you're just throwing stuff at the wall still at this point. I do have little definitions I wrote for myself because I found this whole process to be confusing when I started it. Just to review, the splurge is just making something new. The sketchbook is organizing what you want to work on. Tag the things that you can use and like good enough to work on next. Discovering is experimenting with the splurges that you like and would like to do more with. So the jazz brushes is going in here. We're going to tag it. I'm going to put the EP tag on it because that's what I'm working on right now. But I also thought there was a discover tag. There is. Okay. So now that it's in discover, it's still bookmarked because I like it. It's in the Discover category, and I'm working on it as part of my EP that I'm working on right now. Okay? There is another EP that I have been working on for a few months, and these two tracks are part of that. So, they're in the draft section. They've gotten here because I splurged a good idea. I splurged on top of that splurge, and I discovered what that song wanted me to do with it. And now it's sitting in the draft pile. The draft pile is when you start editing on purpose, okay? So if I open this, I have my MP MP3 sitting right here. I'm going to listen to that MP3. Mike makes a really strong point to not listen to the project in your DAW. I don't know why. There's obviously a reason, but he says, always listen to the MP3. So I'm listening, okay, to the MP3. I usually listen to it right out of my finder because I can't make notes and listen to it in this project at the same time. Sure, okay, so say this is it. I'm listening to the piece that's in my draft pile, and as I listen to it, I'm making notes. So say... I thought the beginning of this was too loud. Soften beginning. And I might give myself a timestamp, 23 seconds. Soften the beginning at 23 seconds, okay? I'm gonna keep listening. I'm gonna keep listening to the MP3 and I'm gonna keep making notes here of very specific things that I wanna change and work on in this piece. Okay, that is how you're going to focus your work. So in the draft, you are editing the piece that you're working on really specifically. So you want to identify, okay, this part isn't working. Why? What isn't working about this particular part? And then you make a list and you take that list with you into your DAW and you fix those problems. Okay, you can do this as many times as you need. Once you feel like it's done, you've done as much as you can, you like it good enough as it is now, you're going to move that piece into the done pile. So let's say we worked on this piece as much as we're going to work on it. We move it to done. Now, once it's in done, we leave it alone for a week. 
So same thing as when we splurged. You're going to go in here and you're going to set a date for seven days from now. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In a week, I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to listen to it again and I'm going to decide, is this going on my EP or is it not? Do I like it enough still or not? And when I make that decision, I am either going to take this and put it back in the sketchbook if I'm not ready to use it, if it doesn't fit with the project or for a thousand reasons that I might not want to use it right now, it's going back into the sketchbook. I'm going to take all the other tags off and I am only, can I just, okay, I'm going to take these off. And I'm just going to leave the bookmark there. If I like it still, if I hate it, I might even get rid of this and just say, eh, I kind of did what I could with this and it's not working and I don't want to use it anymore. So we'll leave it in the sketchbook. Nothing leaves the sketchbook. All ideas stay in the sketchbook because you don't know if a month from now you listen to something again and all of a sudden you'll like it. If you decide you love it, it's perfect for the project and it's ready to go, you can absolutely make any adjustments that you want. You're going to analyze it, make your final edits. So same thing. Listen to the MP3, make notes for anything else you want to tweak. Take that into your DAW, make those tweaks, and then that's it. Release it. So you're going to take your project, you're going to stick it in release and do a little happy dance and get onto DistroKid or CD Baby or whatever it is that you distribute your music with and make that thing alive for other people. Actually, okay, so that makes more sense. You're going to take it out of done and put it in the release pile to do your final edits. And then once it's actually done done, you're going to move it into released when like Yay, hooray, it's on Spotify and Apple Music and YouTube Music and all the things. And then that's when you do your happy dance. And okay, anyways, you get the point. So this is how I make sure that I'm creating new ideas and that those ideas are going somewhere. I have an idea of a project that I'm working on because that helps me focus my attention and energy. And this board is how I organize where all those things are and what I need to be working on. So when I sit down in the afternoon to work on stuff while the baby's sleeping and the other kids are watching a movie, the first thing I do is splurge something, anything. Even if it's not for the particular project I'm working on right now, I splurge something and put it in the splurge pile. And then I'm going to go to um, wherever my current project files are. So if I'm discovering them, that's what I'm going to do. If they're in draft and I need to edit them, that's what I do. If I don't have a project that I'm currently focusing my energy on, which isn't usual, I usually have a project, um, I guess I would just pick something, whether in discover or draft and deal with that stuff or if there's something where the timer has gone off and done, I would go back and deal with that maybe first. So splurge first for like 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, not a long time. Just get something out, put it in the splurge folder and then locate where the thing is that you need to be working on for what you're working on right now. Listen to it, make notes, do the work. Those are the two things that I must do for myself every day. Splurge something and work on something. One thing. Splurge one thing, work on one thing. That will take me the most one hour. Usually it's a half an hour. 15 minutes, uh, 10 minutes of splurging, 20 minutes of, what did I just say? Yeah, 10 minutes of splurging, 20 minutes of working. And it's amazing how much you can get done in that short amount of time. And in a half an hour every day, let's see what embarrassing math I'm going to do in my head right now. Seven days, half an hour, that's one hour, two hours, three hours, three and a half hours in seven days that you're working on music. 
That's huge. You can move forward quickly doing three and a half hours worth of work, dedicated, focused work on music every week. And this is how I do it, this music board. So again, the link to this template and Mike's descriptions and tutorials on how to use all of these things is in the description of this video. I hope that this was helpful and not confusing. I found it very confusing when I started using it, but now that I've simplified it for myself, I find it vital. This is where my brain lives in an organized way. And so I hope that my description wasn't confusing. I hope that it was clear. <laughs> And I hope that you use it. I hope that you find it useful and that you actually make music using this system. It's wonderful. I love it. Um, if you would like to see my music, you can go to my website, sealsounds.com. It's S-I-E-L sounds.com. Everything that I'm working on, all the projects that I'm involved in, my Spotify links and everything else are all on that website. And you can find everything that I'm doing there. You can also find me on Instagram. Instagram slash seal sounds. Um, I also have two artist profiles, Lemon Chillo and Arrow. Again, there's links on my website to both of those things. And yeah, I hope that this was helpful. If it was helpful, please like this video. I would also love to hear from you in the comments. I would especially love to hear if you use this and how it helps you or doesn't help you. Anything I could add. And if you have a friend that would benefit from this video, please consider sharing it with them. And I will see you in the next one.